Okay, so for your dolphin, I chose to use a pink and purple and white combination. Any combination looks really good as long as it has one dark side and one light side. It's going to be an awesome dolphin color for you. Blue is also very popular. You also need your Wolf and Diamond FX black and white. So to start, take your one inch flat brush and load it up with your color of your choice. Being careful to keep all those colors in a nice even line. Alrighty. So to start, I'm going to do it so that its body curves up this way. You can also curve it down. You just have to think about which direction your strokes are going to go. And you always start off with the nose. So to start off with that, I take the uh, dark side on the outside edge and I just make a tiny little loop like that. So just make kind of like a fingernail shape you could call that or just kind of a long shape. And now you're going to flip your brush so that the outside edge, remember this is going to be your outside edge so the dark one's on top. And you're going to flip it over and overlap that shape that you already made. So start off flat with it against the bottom like that and curve it up and around. So pivot at this point, you start off there and then you pivot this around so that you get a bit of a bump and then pull it up like that. So see that shape you started off? You start off flat, come around, pivot, and follow it back up and then flick it out so that you have that nice pointy edge at the end. Okay, and there's gonna be that little bit of a shape there, but that's okay, because that's where you're gonna put your fins, so it doesn't matter that that's not perfect. All right, so then we're gonna do our fins, and you're gonna flip over your brush. Uh, this doesn't really matter which direction the, the dark, dark is on the outside or on the inside. You're just gonna pull that down a little bit, give it a little wiggle, so it's kind of an S wiggle. And then, like that, another one on the other side. So just use that little gentle wiggle to create the tail fin. And then you're gonna pull backwards. So this time you're gonna have the dark on the, on the outside. And pull in, so that way you have another fin on top. Just like that, it meets the body right there. And then you're gonna flip your brush over one more time. It's kind of confusing with all this flipping, but you'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. And you're gonna do the same thing you did on top, but downwards. So dark on the outside, Cover over that little spot that doesn't quite connect and pull straight down, just like that. So this is going to be your basic dolphin body shape. Now this is a good time to add glitter if you wanted to add glitter. I'm going to use, this is Mama Clown's White Cosmetic, White Fairy Dust Cosmetic Glitter. And just dab that on there like that. It's a floofer bottle so it goes really fast. Alright, and now you're going to take your white liner brush. This is the number four. Low Cornell, I use for quite a lot of things. All right, load that up with white and you're gonna add a little eye dot right there. All right, and then I dress it up a little bit with a few other dots. You can add big swirls in here. I like to do that right now. Just add a couple of swirly curlies. You can add flowers, splashes of water. However you want to dress it up, now is a good time to do it. A couple little water splashes in here. And those swirls and curls just take a bit of practice too. I know they look kind of, it's hard to make them really nice and smooth at first and get that nice point, but sometimes uh, a tip I can give you is that the faster you go, sometimes the nicer your edge will be if you if you kind of just go for it. <laughs> and then you'll get really good control over it later. All right, and now you're gonna take your liner brush. You're almost done, you're already outlining it. So for your outline, you're going to trace the shapes you already have. This one you just trace like that, give it a kind of a little hill shape and then flat across the bottom, pull that all the way in. Bring it around from the back fin. This kind of overlaps a little bit, give them a little bit of a head there, or her. And for the mouth, uh, I don't usually split the mouth all the way up here. I kind of bring it around like that and bring it all the way back towards the eye. Gives it that nice long dolphin face that everybody likes. All right, and this is kind of a tricky part too, but you'll, you'll get it. So for the fin, I like to split this into two fins, <laughs> so it's a little bit faster than adding in two. 
So find a point like that you want to split it because the back fin would overlap a little bit. And just split it right about there. So this is going to be your front side. Then outline his tum her tummy around the back and then give it a second little flick in there. So that way it looks like there's two fins even though you only made one stroke. Outline the dorsal fin. Pull that up there. Outline those lovely tail fin shapes. And the very last thing we do is the eye. I always save that for last because that white spot needs some time to dry otherwise the black will just bleed into the white. And this is the same kind of eye you do for the unicorn. So you're going to give it an S flick like that. So we're going to give her some eyelashes. And then you just flick once or twice more. Those are her eyelashes. And then you create a U shape right there. So that gives her a nice little pupil in there with a sparkly eye spot. And you are all done. That looks fantastic. What a cute dolphin. That's all folks, hope you enjoyed this dolphin tutorial. This one's really popular, I'm sure you'll use it a lot. And make sure you experiment with the colors because you can make some really great combinations you wouldn't expect. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe to see more, and we'll see you next time.